Well, guys, it's great when the lunatics finally out themselves. And one by one, these globalist world leaders are outing themselves to the public. Make no mistake, okay? At the World Economic Forum, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair calls for a national digital infrastructure. We should be helping countries to develop a national digital infrastructure, which they will need for these future vaccines. What future vaccines? Why do we need to take them? Have we not learned perhaps what happens from them? Um, this is some scary stuff. They're going to come down the line. The world is resisting more than these people can fantasize. Finally, people understand that it's not about COVID or the climate. These are just the tools for these guys to get you to fall into line, to do what they say. Watch for yourself and see. I think there's a huge impetus now for a national digital infrastructure. Digitization in, in healthcare is, I think, one of the great game changers. You know, we should be helping countries to develop a national digital infrastructure, which they will need with these new vaccines. And then, you know, finally, it, it, it's, it's also about showing people and showing the political leadership that you can make a positive difference to your healthcare system by adopting these measures because they've got a they've got an impact beyond any particular disease and or, or, or pandemic. Okay, the World Economic Forum, this is a cult. Okay, you've read about Klaus Schwab, its leader. These are the globalists. These are the people that want you eating bugs and eliminating meat and eliminating your ability to own anything independently, but you'll take care of you and you'll be really, really happy. They're pushing communism times 10. This is insanity, but we're letting them get away with it. These are some of the most powerful people in the world. They're rushing to Davos in thousands of private planes with a carbon footprint like no one would ever imagine while simultaneously lecturing you on using a gas stove or a car. These are the biggest polluters in the world telling you how you should live, but they know they're powerful enough that they won't have to actually comply with these things. These people, in my mind, are absolutely evil. And uh, we don't want them having your digital records. We don't want them implanting chips in us. We don't want them being able to use their social credit score that they deem, not based on fact, but whatever Klaus Schwab or his cohorts tell us to just shut off your car, your electricity, hell. Once they put the chips in you, perhaps even your body. I know, it sounds so out there. It's very, very out there, except when you look at what's actually going on, right? Everything that's talked about, the New World Order, it's another conspiracy theory, folks. Everything's a conspiracy theory until a few months later when it's proven to be 100% right. And why would we need a digital infrastructure with these new mRNA vaccines? <laughs> They're going to mandate MRA vax control your movements to if you refuse to take them are they going to shut you off honestly is it that far-fetched right now you know it sounds even a few years ago if you said that you'd be like wow that's it's crazy until you look at how they're behaving what they're telling us we should consume what they themselves do and the hypocrisy no more we're not communist china and we're not going to tolerate it Enough is enough. Stop giving these people credibility. Stop giving them power. And when they try to take it, make sure you recognize that and make sure you don't support these clowns.